guys, today we're gonna do another makeup look. I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what I'm filming and what order I'm posting it in because things are messed up with Vlogmas right now. I thought I lost footage and it turns out I didn't. I just forgot about a memory card and I'm still a little bit behind. Anyways, things are complicated. I wanted to do a makeup look. I was on Instagram the other day, obviously. I just found this, it was actually like a video. I think yeah, it was like a nose contour video, but I was like, oh my God, uh, her eye shadow is so pretty. Al's, oh my gosh, I do not know how to say her name. That is the username right there. Look at those eyes. I mean, if you know me, you know I'm not like a contour kind of girl, but look at those freaking eyes. Uh, so instantly was inspired. I want to do deep red slash warm brown smoky eye with a like really intense wing and then like nothing on the lower I like how she like doesn't have anything on the lower lash line I feel like it looks so intense and it looks so cool I off camera just like filled in my brows and put concealer and powder on my eyelids because that's not exciting if you are ever curious about brows I have number one a tutorial on how to fill in your brows it is pretty old but it's definitely still relevant um, ever since that video I've had microblading so I have a video about that too if you guys are interested um, so my microblading just needs to be touched up and so I just do a little bit in my brows and it's not that exciting. You know they had Morphe on Sephora? I didn't know that. That's so interesting. Okay. Well, I decided I was going to use the Morphe 3502 palette, but I've had this palette for so long. I was like, do they still make these anymore? Because the 350 used to be the, you know what's so funny? This is something like I've always thought ever since the 350 was like the best thing since sliced bread. You know, we thought like, oh, this is just like a warm tone lover's dream of a palette, right? But then when they came out with the O2, I was like, the original O is like significantly more cool toned. Now when I look at it, I don't even see it like as a warm tone palette. It's kind of funny. I mean, like, yes, it has warm tones in it, but not the same as this. So as always with any makeup look ever, I love to really um, emphasize the fact that if you don't have this palette but you have similar shades at home, just use it. Like with any makeup tutorial ever, 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 um, it's all about more like color combination and technique. I just hate the way the beauty world is so product heavy. So if you don't have this palette and you want to recreate this look, um, try to see if you have something at home. If not, I mean this palette is really great. It's not super um, expensive or anything, which is another thing I try to definitely do. I might be a bit scatterbrained. I'm trying to film a TikTok of this look while I'm also simultaneously filming it for YouTube. So let's see how it goes. On my eyes, I already just have like my concealer and then just like some powder, so nothing crazy. I like to set it with a powder so things blend better. So I'm just gonna start with a transition shade, honestly doesn't really should I do it this way so if you were looking at the palette actually yeah I'm gonna take this like first shade here because this look is so smoky you definitely don't have to be precise with this step um, it's all just about starting light and then slowly building to be darker 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 so that way everything um, just blends a lot more seamlessly you're not gonna have to work so hard to blend brush down here first because I'm cool if it's like darker and more blown out in the outer corner. We are gonna go for that kind of winged look today and then I just kind of lightly bring it into the inner corner. Sometimes I feel like when I am doing a darker smoky eye, I kind of like really, really, really slowly build up to the darker color and I was just like, you know what? No, like just go in with the darker color and it'll be more intense, right? So I'm going to take this color right here. These are the tones that I'm looking for today. So I'm just going to dip my brush in really good. And I'm just gonna start like literally going to town. Um, this is gonna like be over the lid. This is going to be in the crease. It's just gonna be really, really blown out. It's such a pretty color because it's like is red, but it's not like red red, you know? It still has that like 
kind of like a muted red that makes it more wearable for shadow and it's just like really pretty. So I always keep like the original brush around and without extra product I'm just blending out these edges because you don't want to keep bringing it up with this brush because then the color is just going to get way too blown out and you definitely want to like see it up here a little bit. I'm like doing this eye on YouTube and this eye on TikTok so I mean I only really need to show you one eye anyway so when I come back and like boom this eye is done, that's why. TikTok is so hard. I'm trying to do transitions. They're not easy. Now I just have this basically like bright red all over my lid and that's just like where we're at right now. So to me the key to making color wearable is grabbing a neutral and kind of like grounding it again almost it's like the way i like to explain it i don't know if that makes sense so i'm going to take i think i'm going to take this one right here it's a pretty pretty dark brown it does like have a bit of a warmth base to it so i'm going to choose this one and start to build in like that outer corner Number one, this will give us like the depth and the smokiness that, you know, I'm going for today. And I don't know if like you can really tell, but it just kind of starts to bring it to be a little bit more neutral. If you can see like a little bit like how this eye is a little bit more neutral than this eye because we're just building in that like brown. It honestly looks like this are like so easy because it's like you can kind of just slap the color everywhere and... As long as it is blended, like there are no lines, then like odds are it's gonna look good. And I like between the two eyes, I just like look at myself really straight on in the mirror and I just kind of go back between the two brushes and just make sure everything is looking really even. The same amount of darkness in the same places. Damn, I'm like already vibing with this really hard right now. I love that color, that like second color that I used, wow. I might actually grab more of that so you can really see it like on the lid because it's so pretty like the tone of it it's like this muted like red but it has kind of like almost like this fuchsia-y base to it I am like not being shy about taking it this way because I do want it to be like a pretty winged out look I'm just gonna take a liquid liner I've been using this one from Revlon and honestly it's so good I feel like I've been spending like I've been buying like 20 plus dollar eyeliners for so long because I'm like, ah, I just want my eyeliner to be good. Turns out this Revlon one is pretty amazing. So they have it like in this shape too and this like angled, um, which is not like I don't use it all the time, but I do also have a video of like how to do wing liner. In that video though, I actually did it with a friend who wanted me to teach her how to do eyeliner and I feel like it was kind of a cool video because there were things that she was asking me or things that she was realizing about what I was doing that I would have never thought of myself. And I feel like guiding her through it and helping her through her errors could really be helpful to somebody who has no idea what they're doing. So if you haven't seen that video, I feel like you should probably watch it if you if you don't know how to do your wing liner, I mean. So the only thing I really like to use this other like um, Revlon liner for is it's really easy to like fill in the wings because it's just like a just fatter <laughs> I just feel like I have two personalities on here right now because like on TikTok I'm being like serious and cute and here I'm being like <laughs> myself I'm being by myself I'm not being myself on TikTok I'm trying to be like cute you know I'm gonna do like this little thing right here just extending my liner like into the inner corner I'm gonna put on lashes. I'm using the Ardell. They're the 3D Faux Mink in 858. They're like my favorite lashes ever right now. Um, so I'll, I don't have them in the box because I wore them yesterday. I mean, obviously, like for me, I wear a lot of makeup. I wear lashes a lot and I wear dramatic makeup a lot and like go literally anywhere to the grocery store and makeup like this and not think twice about it. You might feel differently, but these lashes for me, I feel like are the perfect amount of drama where it's like... You can see them, but they're just not like crazy. So I love them. I did put on mascara. If you know me, then you know I don't care about mascara because if I want my lashes to look good, I'm just gonna put on falsies. All right, so there is the one lash. So you can kind of like 
Sorry, I feel like I'm not looking right at the window, so the lighting's kind of funny, but there's the difference. It's like night and day, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Wow, I love uh, this makeup. Oh my gosh. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to use a Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage. This stuff is a serious. I don't know why I was like, let me just do like the most full coverage right now. And um, I talk about this sometimes, like I just cheat and wear turtlenecks and then wear foundations that do not match me at all. So um, this foundation is very dark. I am going to go through and like highlight and stuff like that. So I'm not super worried about it. And that's why God invented turtlenecks. That's why. So we can wear dark foundation. Not to keep our necks warm. That's ridiculous. So it is absolutely going to look so stupid right now. Don't come for me. It'll look better in a little bit. You know, I probably should have like put on a hydrating primer. I feel like my skin's a bit dry. This is definitely like not the most hydrating foundation. So I'm going to just do a little bit of like the Morphe setting spray on my skin to kind of... I'm going to just like kind of take whatever is left and like put it over my ears so it blends and start working it like down and around my neck. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Light Beige, and I am going to highlight around my face. For my nose, I'm going to take a really tiny brush. I'm not like good at nose stuff, to be honest with you, not good at like nose contouring and highlighting. Um, so I feel like for me, having like a really tiny brush seems to be the only way. It needs to be like really precise. It's like a really precise area. Anyways, I'm also going to use this brush right up against like my eyes and then just use my sponge for the rest of underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to take my face powder and super super lightly this is the hourglass powder and i have been using the bare minimal bare minimals i've been using the bare minerals well rested powder and like a really tiny brush and just been like kind of hitting it in these areas where i want to be like extra bright and right here and also like in the places i highlighted i kind of like dust over that too so now like i said before i like don't really want to do anything on the lower lash line but i'm just going to Take a smaller brush and just with like the transition shade, like the first shade that we used, just a little bit. So there's um just something. Okay, me. I'm not going to put anything under the eyes and I'm like, okay, yes, I actually am. I'm going to take a really, really, you can't see it, a really, really thin brush in just like a dot of black just to do this right in the outer corner because I feel like it yeah just kind of like balances the like how we have it down over here you know just a little bit smallest amount of mascara that ever was just barely touch these lashes because I don't like a lot of lash on the bottom but they are just so caked with makeup that you can just like tell that they're caked with makeup so so they're not like white anymore. Got this in a boxy charm, I think. This is by Ace Beauté. I'm not really sure. But this is their bronze in Paradise palette. You can see like mine's so dirty because I use it so much. I love it because there's all these different shades in it. So it's like no matter what color you are, uh, it works. Like and this is perfect for somebody like me who get spray tans and self tans like I'm a different color literally every single day or also like even I might be white as heck but I'm gonna wear a really dark foundation like this um you know if I'm wearing a shirt like this but if I were to wear like a lower cut shirt then I'd have to wear a really light foundation and I'd have to use this I'm going to actually take an eyeshadow brush and I think I'm gonna actually stick with like the lightest color and just do a little bit of this um I don't I don't know I'm trying to learn the whole nose thing it's just not for me i feel like i let i like my nose i know it's not something people say very often but i don't try to change my nose and that's why i don't even like really care about nose contour but i do feel like when you have on like a lot of makeup 
you need to add something here because otherwise your nose kind of gets like lost in your face. So I'm going to use this same palette and I'm going to probably just start here. This is like my favorite color. Bronzing up my face slash giving it some shape. I've been keeping my contour like so high. I'm actually not going under my cheekbone. Like I really go like on my cheekbone and the where the line ends is like where under my cheekbone is. Far back, I do a lot here because my face is very wide. Um, so if you have a more narrow face, you wouldn't want to do it the same way I'm doing it now. If you've seen any makeup tutorials before, I know you'll be very, very, very surprised to know that I'm using Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon Blush. <laughs> it's just the best. I don't know what to say. I am doing a little bit on my nose, a little bit right here. Guys, I'm sorry. Use whatever highlight you like, but for me, I can't not use the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the Flash palette. It's not available anymore. I just hope that she gets it in her head that this is the best thing she's ever done and she needs to come back with it. So I use this shade, which is called Iced, and I use it on this bigger brush, which is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06. This is also probably one of the best things she's ever done. So the last thing to do is lips and no, I'm not doing anything different. I'm sorry. I am using KKW lip liners, nude number one and nude number two, the best ever. Um, I take nude number two and I just really lightly go over like the edges of my lips. And then I take nude number one and I blend in this color into my lips so you don't see that harsh dark line on the outside. Well, I usually put like a gloss on. I don't really do lipstick or anything but lately I've just been using the Tatcha lip mask and it's so nice because I feel like the lip liners just do the kind of take care of the color for you. The only place there's not color is like in the very center but then it just looks so natural and I I really love Buxom White Russian. It's what I normally do, but this is kind of nice too because you're actually getting like a a moisturizer on your lips. Yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am absolutely loving it. I just like keep looking in the mirror at these eyes. Uh, I love these colors so much. I love the eyeliner. It makes me feel like a bird a little bit, but in a good way. Um, I have been filming this video for absolutely the most obnoxious amount of time ever. Filming TikToks are oh, so, so hard. So that's my new goal. I'm going to start making more TikToks and learn how to do transitions because this video was really pathetic. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the makeup look. Um, let me know if there's any other makeup looks you guys want to see. I am like... Sometimes I forget how much I love to do makeup and then I do looks like that are a little bit more out there like this and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love doing makeup. So anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again, I don't know what's happening with Vlogmas so I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow or I'll see you later today or I don't know what order these are coming in or what's happening but I'll see you in my next video. Bye!